infield cobra maybe as well it's that um you know very distinctive voice that you know we need in here one so my assumption is if i see a bonanza fly by me really fast I will, that would be the assumption that it's an f-15 <laughs> i think it might show up as a uh, if it's going jet. sound barrier fast then yeah i don't it's oh, be interesting to see what it shows up as did they release it yet oh yeah you can't go over mach one that's they, if they uh, one more, uh, one more them. week, one more week. The only thing I want is a seven three seven PMDG and a Concorde. Concorde sounds good. fun. I would imagine someone's gonna come with a mod to uh, take out the speed limit. Like mod I said, one. One more week and it's done. She's saying they did, that's what you're saying. It's gonna be a mod. It's not like they're yeah, gonna they, release uh, the patch to. Deal with that. The, um, what is it? DC Designs uh, found a, a way. I guess they didn't really find it, but they're uh, they're working, and they they said they should have it done in about a week. Yeah, I think I just found it, and uh, DC Designs will update uh, the F15. That being said, I highly doubt you ever want to go over the sand barrier near the ground on that thing in VR. That might be a problem. Even if they come up with a way to do that. Crash your computer. Not to mention the scenery probably won't even load in as quick quick enough for that speed. Yeah, from the article I was reading they said it would be able to do uh, above Mach one, up to Mach two at altitude. I don't know what they mean by at altitude. Uh, We'll find out in a week. Oh. Either way, I don't think... Density of the air. Although 40 bucks is kind of pricey, but... That's absurd. No, I mean, if it's a really well-done aircraft and we can take it super sonic, it might win my business. Maybe. At least the Concorde probably will if they ever come out with that. Back with you. I wonder why it does that. Oh well. Alright, you want to get started, gents? I'm not sure if Kev is back yet. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm with you. Alright, okay. right, guys. Well, thanks again, Kev, for letting me host another flight. Uh, so this one will take you over to the Lake of the Ozarks and also the Truman Reservoir, uh, where there's assorted uh, airstrips and places to land in the water. Of course, you know, all of us, we love the water now with the water skiing. All right. So your next destination will be M05 Mary Oscar 5. And actually, I did make a mistake there. That's the name of a motorway that's right next to the airport. My mistake, it's actually three, Victor Sam. It's an airport that's 14.9 nautical miles to the northwest at 25, excuse me, a 28.5 degree heading. Uh, this airport looks to be a asphalt runway and we're gonna come in on runway number 25. So before we begin, make sure all of you have your engine started sounds like a NASCAR race now, especially with the uh, checkered flag uh, tails here. And I think one person needs to hit B to get them down on the runway. Unless they've got custom scenery running. And I don't think there is any. All right, gents. When you're ready, flaps, power, brakes, let them have it. 
Who needs a runway? It's a fucking savage carbon. <laughs> Freaking savage carbon. Thank you, Scott. I was about to say, this game's ready to eat for everyone. We need the... We need the... No, I'm just kidding. need to worry about altitude on this one at all nope tornadoes maybe tomorrow will definitely be the altitude one you got it yeah. I've been trying desperately trying to find uh, Machapichu machinery pack and there's nothing out there yeah, flight's not going to go I? near there anyway yeah I just I just love the idea of being able to fly to it never will it's that's that uh, village that's going to come, right? Yeah, it's a uh, old Inca settlement. Right. A friend of mine went there a few years back, and she she said it was incredible, Peru. Has anyone checked if Chichen Itza is in the game? I think that's one of the Microsoft handcrafted ones, so it's built in. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I'll be able to at least uh, do a portion of that route tomorrow, so I'm, in, I'm looking forward to hopping back into the TBM. Good. I know uh, you and me and Alex, we need to uh, coordinate uh, A320 routes. I feel like that's beginning to pick up speed in this group. Yeah, yeah actually. Uh, um, getting I think a good route that I was flying on my own was the Aleutian Island chain, like from Anchorage down to like uh, some airstrips. They were kind of short though. I was flying on a CJ4, a business, a business jet, like so, yeah, Dutch Harbor, on Alaska, yeah. a few others in that area to Cold Harbor, which actually it's a really long airstrip at Cold Harbor. I think it was a, it was a former military base. But we can, you can definitely take an A320 from Anchorage over to there. I flew um, Ibiza to Naples with the uh, Gulf yesterday, and that was really nice as well. Uh, see, I followed that up um, afterwards. I done a uh, Ibiza to Malta with a lovely landing, and you wasn't there to see it. Oh, that's insane. Uh, and these are, you, you, you pick it up really quick, seriously. I've never seen an yeah. 320 on its nose. Uh, absolutely perfect landing. I mean, to be the, fair, uh, autopilot takes it to about 400 foot, so there's a little yeah. cheating and such, but this is the final touch of your mind. I mean, the the fly-by-wire, the latest stable build is absolutely stunning as well, like what I sent yesterday in the group that you can request live weather on the flight management computer, so you can actually request the meter information, um, before coming in from landing, so you can actually set the flight management computer for the winds, the temperature, and everything. And that little feature on its own is already very nice. But as well, well will... since, since the mod, both hand flying, um, realism, the overall usage of, um, the air, of, of the aircraft itself, because most of the in op stuff has become a bubble. So it's a really, really outstanding mod. If anyone does install it, please make sure that the installer is closed before you start actually using the, uh, the SIM. Because by the end of the night, it was using 16 gig of RAM. Wow. It was actually it was causing my game to lag. And it was only afterwards I realised that that's what it was. It was actually just the installer. It wasn't, you know, you don't even need it running anymore. And it was using 16 gig of RAM and a lot of power. As soon as I done an end task on it, everything went back to running full ultra. Yeah, you got a while. Um, am I gonna have to I see the runway? I think uh, we have to have a change of plans. I did say runway um where is it? I did say yeah, runway twenty five, but I think it might be a better idea to do zero seven. Because of the winds. Yeah, the wind changed. It, it took it took air. Yeah, I mean southwest. Southeast, you know. I think with the kind of landing distances you need on this plane, I don't think it matters. 
I see one. Up or down. I see one side of the runway green, so that's what I'm aiming for. I mean, you guys can land wherever you want. You know, if you want to land in one of the farm fields nearby, be uh, be my guest. I saw a performer with a shotgun. Not a good idea. Integrity <laughs> farms. We always have to go for integrity farms. No one knows Tegarty Farms. This is a nice little with, with, with a little bit of memberries. Member berries, yeah, Member they are berries. really good as well. Yeah, with this runway, you could probably just land and go halfway, and we can take off halfway. I'm thinking 07 is a little bit more scenic, even though they're more or less the same. So I am yeah. going in for 07. Same. Absolutely like nothing here. That's, um, where were we? I think it's southwest, no, southwestern Missouri? No, we're just south of Jefferson City, so it's kind of more northern central. We're about halfway between St. Louis and Kansas City. Time for an apron landing. I'm way too high, but I'm going to make this work. Just like that. There is a little bit of a crosswind. I've gone straight back to desktop. Keep it going and I'll catch you up. Uh, by the time uh, everybody lands here, you might actually catch us before we take off. Uh, plan on what you're planning and so I'll see what I can get to. Yeah, sure. Well, at least I'm not the only one today. If you guys are uh, landing on, uh, shoot, what's the number? Um, you got a taxi. Up. Yeah, you got to taxi around and go the other way. You only really need to go about halfway down the runway. And I'd even, I don't think either. Nice hammer head. <laughs> awesome. For a second, I thought somebody was belly flopping with the... Um, With that other airplane that we used for the Italy tour. I caught, the name is escaping me. BL3. BL3, yeah. Actually, I tried out the Spruce Goose briefly the free one. It's actually not bad. I mean, I know it was ported over a couple of sacks, but all things all, it looks pretty good for the most part. I need to figure out how we can install that, but I am getting a new, um, I'm getting a new um, hard drive. Well, technically not a hard drive, but you know what I mean. And I'm going to be moving flight simulator to it. And I think that's where I can really get control of how long the file names will be. And I can finally install that plane. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, it's funny. Is I have add-ons on my secondary drive, my hard drive. But I have this installment for solid state, but it still works fine. Yeah, my boot drive doesn't have enough space. So I had to, um, I have it installed on the MB, ME drive, but, um, I'm going to be buying one of those um, PCI cards that have MB, ME drives in them and just waiting for it to restock and hopefully it'll be a good, because it's supposed to be faster than what I have, so it could make a difference, who knows? Yeah, depending on what your board is, 
It could be. I have an X570 AM4 chipset. Yeah, same. I had to get creative to put my G2 up to it. I had to hook the G2 up through my like my my monitors USB port. I believe that. Yeah, I've got the Zeus M.2 expansion card. It'll take four of them. Um, but, That's actually what I'm looking to grab. But you need to disable SATA 5 and SATA 6 to get the bandwidth up. I don't have anything plugged into the SATA ports. I don't really think I'm going to have to. I don't think I'm going to do that anyways. Because it's just so another cable I'd have to that's run. That's ideal. That's ideal. Um, just disable them and your bandwidth goes back to a full sort of motherboard demand for it. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't... Re I'm thinking this one I'm looking at, it's made by Western Digital. I just hope it doesn't require PCI-4 because I think um, PCI-4, there's only one of them on my motherboard, if I'm not mistaken. There could be two because it, it is designed to do SLI bridges. Uh, so I could, I could probably manage it. The PCI 4 shouldn't matter regarding the SLI. The SLI would be just the time speed. Well, I'm not doing that. 16. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, but the fact that it's 4 SLI shouldn't relate to what PCI it is. Uh, I've gone back to desktop again. I'm going to do a reboot of the computer. Come back in. Alright, gents, we'll pick them up on the next airport. Yeah, Alright, so our next destination is going to be um, 10.5 nautical miles to the southeast at a 150 degree heading. And we're going to be going into a waypoint. It's going to take you into uh, the Lake Ozark area. This is a perfect area for water skiing. Any stunts that you may think of, you can do whatever you want here. And and then from there, it's a 1.7 nautical mile journey at a 20, a 267 degree heading into Harbor, which is Mary Oscar 30, and you'll be coming in on runway runway 06. Even I think at that point it probably wouldn't matter because I think at that point it's going to be a crosswind runway, so you can probably run, land on 24 if you want as well. So uh, when you gents are ready, flaps, power, brakes, let's go. There we go. Had to fix the trim on my uh, gravel. See the water. See it too. I see a three. And uh, the, 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 the goal of the waypoint, guys, is for you to follow the river. So whenever you see them, just follow the river. Well, it's not technically a river, but you know what I mean, it's a lake. Well, hopefully Kev can catch up with us at um, MO30. Live weather clouds are great. Yeah, it looks great today. I wonder what the temperatures are because it doesn't seem like that's realistic. It's got to be, I would imagine, probably hovering around in the 40s. I haven't checked the, um, the weather forecast for the area, so I'm not really sure.
And I just see a bunch of uh, blinking lights heading right into the lake. Beautiful. Is this one of the showcase areas in the North America update? Um, I believe so. Because it, the photogrammetry is not a hundred percent on all of it, but it, it gets it's good in some places and it's it was really bad in some places. But there is elevation mods for this area, but um, I don't I installed it and I didn't really see much of a difference. So Kevin and I just decided not to um, share it to uh, install it. But, uh, My trim is really acting up when I use flaps. Yeah, I noticed that. Like you kind of have to rustle it back to level back out again after you re retract the flaps. Yeah, you can you can land on either runway. I don't think it's gonna matter. What you might want to do though is uh, if you are landing on. Um, Uh, 20 I think it's 24 you're gonna you're gonna want to turn around and go the other direction and take off in the direction which you came and I just literally stalled <laughs> I'm gonna retry the landing tight cross one that almost crashed out but yeah I think the crosswind caused me to drop out of the sky there a little bit I wasn't really paying attention to my power though, and I think that's why I lost lift. What runway are you taking off from, guys? We're going to take off from runway 06. Okay. That way you're flying over the lake when you take off and you can follow the path. But then again, there are, our next destination airport is going to be directly to our, our right, so. Yeah, it's a short hop in there. If you follow the lake around, make a, a longer journey to the next day. That was a fun landing. I came in too fast and I was just basically gliding all over the place until I could land it. <laughs> I 
we're getting that um when are we getting the uk ireland update i i read that it's been announced but they 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 push back the date right yeah it'll be this week coming uh february the 2nd i'm hearing are they pushing it back even further now yeah it was due the 26th they pushed it back a week and no, i've it, gone back it was to, and i've just gone just gone week. back to desktop again unbelievable all right i'll keep trying cat we might as well have to check what you have downloaded I don't think some of the restarts gonna work. Maybe try a different livery. Yeah, I think uh, I might come in with an X cup. See what that does. What, what kind of livery were you planning to use with Genesis? His latest version. Yeah, but the latest one. Genesis. I've got the latest gravel. Um, I'll try a different livery on the gravel. The Red Devil. Proper red gold, yeah. So um, when the UK low, uh, the UK one drops, Kev, I do expect a VIP tour of your area of the your neck of the woods. I need to know uh, where the best the best watering hole, the best burger restaurant. I can do a lot of that for <laughs> And certainly you'd be playing in the night loop in North Wales because that's stunning. It'll be even better to get there. That's what I'd say. Uh, I can't wait to plan some Ireland routes, some Scotland routes. Oh my god, it's going to be great. Okay. Okay. Are we going to do the mock loop at the pub? Get around the VL3 would do that nicely. Or get a I wonder if right Silverstone now. will be um, will be rendered in-game. It's just a field like a car park at the moment. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, well hopefully it'll be added in. That'd be kind of cool if it's large enough to fit like an X Cub or uh, a Savage Carbon. You know, you can. That could be like a makeshift stall roof, uh, stall area. Straight away. Well, the racetrack's there. It's just that they, around there are like hotels instead of like grandstands. Uh, yeah, someone, someone will model it in the Well, I'll have to check. The update was meant to come out on the 21st, that was its planned release date. It's gone to the second now, hasn't it? I haven't seen a new date, it just said it was back for a week. I'm not sure where it's back even further. Didn't they come out with... Sorry, pardon me. Didn't they come out with a uh, newsletter yesterday, the, the development team? They did. It was yesterday or sometime earlier this week in the week? Yeah, they had one yesterday. Well, well for us, it was like very early in the morning yesterday, so... About 36 hours ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, hopefully, by the time that update comes out, I'll have the uh, underground parking spot. And we'll have a livery that has Kev's face on the, on the tail. That's Dennis's job for next Thursday. <laughs> okay. All right, Dennis, what you could do... My profile is, picture is perfect for it. Yeah, that would be really perfect. And Dennis, what you could also do is just put a bunch of British flags all over it or, like, have one huge British flag up the top uh, from wing to wing. Like, do, like, an Austin Powers-esque, like, um, font. That works for me. <laughs> Golden member. <laughs> Sounds like an idea, I think. <laughs> We stole my guy on the potty. And um, it also should include the word groovy. Yes, absolutely. And have a bunch of um, mugs of beer all over it, too. Or am I thinking of Roy, maybe? On the bottom of the tail, write the words, my mojo. <laughs> 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 uh, Kev, did you make well, it in? Uh, I'm coming back in at the moment with uh, the original Red Devil livery. Okay. Yeah, I noticed you had to set, you install those separately in order to get the liveries when I was installing. Because he, I think he, Dennis, you mentioned that in the chat, right? Um, how to install the, both the Red Devil and the FS Multiplayer Hub one. 
Um, yep. Um, it's basically just copy it to the um, to the community folder. Um, there is a possibility that you may add it uh, manually to, to the config file of the gravel, but I think that's not necessary. I just must no. say I haven't had any problems. No, I've put them in as a straight into the community folder. Alright, just giving uh, Kev a moment to get caught up with us here. Alright, so I've hit the fly. Let's see what it does. Back to desktop. Alright guys, uh, carry on. Uh, that's a bummer. Alright guys, so um, like uh, I think some of us were in here were mentioning, you could take off and just go over the lake and then loop back because our next destination is only 1.1 nautical miles to the southeast at a 156 degree heading. It is Sherlock Field. It is a grass field and it's one Missouri Oscar 8. Hello. So, Crash up to you. Good afternoon. So, um, definitely want to run, uh, land on runway 18. And, yeah, you could probably just run right out back out to the lake and come back, or you can go straight there, whatever you guys fancy. Very laid back today, so whatever you guys want to do. So when you guys are ready, flaps, brakes, power, let's go. Flame angle is too low. Oh no. Was that a warning you got? Yeah, that's weird because my plane was climbing just fine. Where did you see that warning? Uh, it's, you know, the pop ups you get every now and then. Oh, okay. I have those turned off. I really need to turn them off and I keep forgetting. I just haven't got around to it right this minute because uh, we're in the middle of a flight. Oh, that's a tiny field, my god. Tiny ass field? Taff? Taff. There is plenty. One. Hey. I'm starting up MSFS now. Alright, uh, you're just joining us. We're at 1 Michael Oscar 8. And I just flipped upside down. <laughs> Look okay. nice. Swan dived right there. You gotta pull back on the stick when you break. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try it again. I, don't, I wasn't really paying attention because I was trying to get um, our newcomer his directions. Ouch. Crash kid made you crash, huh? Mm -hmm. The irony. Crash kid, this is cool. <laughs> Honestly, I think that don't crash as much as it's someone's name in this group. That's pretty much the motto of this group. Don't crash when landing. Yeah, I concur. Crashing's half the fun. <laughs> Maybe that's the motto then. Crashing's half the fun. Wow. Not even 10 feet. All right, guys, you are taking off from runway 18, just so you know. So if you came in on the other runway, you need to back taxi. So we're taking off from 18 or 18? 18. Land short. I was supposed to say land short or back taxi.
Yeah, Kev, I see so many um, airport icons on the uh, lake on map mat here. It's shed loads, aren't there? Yeah. Oh, um, God. Straight to, straight back to the desktop again. What I wonder what the, the problem is. And that was where the, that was where the next cup. Try deleting Try delivery. delivery. That was for the next cup. It wasn't with the gravel. What if you put your roll of cash? Have you tried that? I'll have a play. I'll catch you up if I can. And your career community as well. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to really start the game again. Hmm. Either way, you're setting records today, Kev. Yeah, let's hit the zero feet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to reset too because last time I played the game and closed it in VR and every time I do this in the next startup with the game is not starting to let me. Uh-huh. I don't know why. Our next airport's not too far away. Well the thing is the next the next part of the route is actually waypoints because this is the uh, where you follow oh, yes. the lake. So I'll give Everybody, I'll say maybe a couple minutes here just to um, see if we can get Kev back in here real quick. Or don't, don't bank on it. I'm sorry, uh, I'm so what you can do, uh, on you. as I'll say, you could spawn on it. And um, who else was having issues? Was it a uh, crash kid? Yeah, yeah. you don't have to wear the pixel something for my upload, but okay, sure. All right, gents, so um, the way this will work is you're going to be jumping back out onto the lake, and you're going to follow the lake. Uh, that's what's going to be waypoint three. That's basically just letting you know that you're going to be starting to follow with the lake. But as soon as you take off to the south here, you really could just jump back out and take a left and get back onto the lake and head southeast. And it will take you to the waypoint three. And from there, we're going to be following several waypoints just to keep us on the lake up until we hit... Uh, Kilo 1-5, which will be, will be landing on runway 1-4, that won't be for some time, um, runway 1-4 will be a 3.7 nautical mile journey from, wait, oops, we can have Matt just reset on me, do apologize here. So it's not going to be until waypoint six, and waypoint six. Um, I think Kev, you found a. Did you find a uh, airstrip here? That's not on Mavnet. Uh, waypoint five. I've got a reference there. Um, it's Bay Village Resort. After a five point seven nautical mile leg on two fifty three. In fact, it's, it's the waypoint before the KI-5 runway. Perfect. So it's waypoint 6, because that's where it says the um, the seaplane base is. That's the one. Perfect. Because I saw it was on land and not on water, so I figured that was the one you were talking about. Yeah, it looks like you come in along the estuary and turn off right on the final. Perfect. All right, guys, so we'll, we'll follow the waypoints from, um, the waypoints are pretty easy to follow, just stay on the lake. And from waypoint, uh, from waypoint five, yes, it's a 5.7 nautical journey into the waypoint six at a 253 degree heading. So we'll, we'll deal with it when we come to it. Anyhow, when you guys are ready, flaps, power, brakes, let's go. Yes, we are. Oh, I went too fast. It's just you'll be landing at waypoint. Um, shoot. I'll find waypoint. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Waypoint six. It seems it's like your waypoints. Point might be off. I don't know, because I'm showing that as waypoint 5, right before K15. Maybe I'm this, the only one, huh? This is the waypoint. This is the um, flight plan I downloaded from the uh, event 1 tab, though. 
Yeah, I'm sure, well, maybe, maybe, uh, something happened to mine. I'm willing to bet that's what happened. So again, guys, water skiing, and keep an eye out for the taps, tiny-ass ponds. You know, last I checked, there isn't really any here. I think Just tomorrow's flight one. might might have yep, a potential for those. Tomorrow's light flight's going to be high and dry, as far as I see. I was supposed Go to say on UK the What's the next airport you're landing on? Um, if you can load in the flight plan and find us in air, I think that's going to be the best best thing to do right now, Crash Kid. Not gonna lie, this this lake you see like all these buildings that are like half in the way in the water. They're supposed to be boathouses. Yeah, I figured that, but Okay, I see you. Find us okay, uh, Crash Kid. Again, sorry. You find us okay? Yep. Perfect. I'm loading it. Hopefully, no crash. Yeah, it's got to be something going on with the game today. If it's causing a lot of people to crash the desktop, maybe there's a server issue. I have no idea. Because once I rebooted my computer, knock on wood, it seems to have fixed the problem. Yeah. As for Kev, I know he's got a lot of scenery that he creates and stuff that he, he downloads, and I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but... Yeah, I'm creating scenery too, but hadn't... have not... that... It's a really cool place. And I'll load it in. Bridge coming up. Oh boy. Let us know how it goes. Oh, you see, uh, it's pretty nice here. I see Crash Kid up there. I'm in the Rebel. I'll give it a shot. I was about to say, I'm all for it. Let's go. Oh, I can see that. Behind me. Apparently, flying inverted makes you go faster. <laughs> I Does can't keep up with don't crash. Uh, don't crash flew by me, and I'm full throttle right now. He's inverted. You, you can go under it. All right. I went on the left side where it's a little bit taller. That's My scenery the early... just changed. Yeah, mine, mine did too. I think there's some photogrammetry here. Yeah, probably. I think the I think the lake is what they did for photogrammetry and not the buildings around it. When I flew this one for the first time, I forgot to re-enable my photogrammetry because I guess the update turns it off. When we did the um, the winter update, 
So I was like, this place looks really boring. And then I was like, oh, because the, the, I, I flew to New York City the very the same day or later the next day. And I was like, what's going on with New York? All the buildings are generic. And I was like, oh, because the, the photogrammetry is turned off. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if uh, Ozarks looks any different if when I saw it. water looks real nice in this area right now yeah i mean i do i do sympathize with uh scambush's um testimony that the uh, boathouses hopefully will be added it they could probably be a scenery pack that's what this lake's known for is the ton of there's a ton because I, I looked it up i was like what's so special about ozark and Get yourself a houseboat, a couple cases of beer, and you just go out and act the pool. That's what we do out here. All right, guys. So we just passed waypoint five, five point seven degree hitting. Like I mentioned, whoops, start over. Sorry, five point seven nautical mile journey, two hundred fifty degree heading. Uh, should we spot the land? There's no runways because it's a it's a waypoint. So um, just use your best discretion of landing. Waypoint six, we will be landing there. Hopefully we can, uh, any update on you, Kev? Runway 14, yeah. Yeah, they're landing at K15. All right, I'm sorry, uh, Waypoint 6, is, does, do you guys see Waypoint 6 by chance? Yeah, I do. I, I guess at this point it's optional if you want to land there. Uh, Kev had added it in because apparently it is a decommissioned airport there. And it's not actively on either the game or a little nav map. Anybody see the water scenery change? Yep, it just changed on me. Yeah, I've wiped out the rolling cash. So I've wiped out the contents. XML. Uh, wiped out the community. Restarted. Closed it. Restarted it. Now, do you have any applications that may interfere with uh, Flight Simulator? Because I noticed uh, if you buy the game through the Microsoft Store and if you have Steam running in the background, that can cause issues. No, nothing like that. So I always, I always, I have Steam turned off by default unless I'm opening it. I don't like having that running in the background. And even the Epic Game Store uses so much as your CPU running in the background. I gotta get rid of it. I gotta use it. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing the same. I, I have it turned off now, but I don't even know if it's still running in the background or not. I've never been curious to try. Okay, I see that. Uh, oh, no. Fire, fire pool. My game runs pretty well today. I don't know why. Normally, when I'm with with a lot of people, my game is lagging pretty hard, but today it's not. Hmm. Yeah, normally, it seems like anytime I'm selected to host the flight, that's where I have problems. Oh yeah, Kev, I remember seeing this. Yeah, it's Water fairly have, Do not have the flight map. plan loaded in now. I see some gents have already landed at the next airport, which is perfectly fine. I'd say for this uh, waypoint, guys, uh, touch and go. If you're near it, if not, you can just if you if you flew past it, no big deal. Sounds good. Touch and go. Actually, I gotta get running, unfortunately. Yeah. So definitely enjoy the rest of your flight today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, you so I get to, you, you're doing to me what I get to do to you tomorrow. Yeah, more or less. Tell me if you just come up. No, no yeah. problem, man. I was just making a joke because I, unfortunately, I won't be able to do the whole flight tomorrow, but I'll at least be able to do some of it. And I know your flights are pretty sweet, so I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah, man. Definitely looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, no, you guys good, take man. care. Have a good rest of your flight. Man. You too. Yeah, take care, pal. Take care, man. Game. All right. If you guys are going into Kilo One Five, yes, runway Runway Fourteen is where you're going to be landing. Should be easy to spot. There's a beacon. This one's a little interesting. It looks like there's a downslope for one port uh, for this runway and it's also like kind of like fold the runway's kind of folded it may be just an elevation data issue I don't know
You guys notice what I'm talking about here? Yeah, it's kind of like in a bowl almost. Yeah, right. I'm coming in from 3 4 at the moment. I don't see anybody, so I need to chat in the server. Yeah, because when I first booted up the game before I started having my crashes to desktop, I couldn't find anybody. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to reboot the computer, see if that does anything. And I mean, so far, yeah. so good. 3334 three, three, is uphill. It's yeah. a nice runway, actually. Really nice. It's, you're going to notice interesting things about this runway. It's almost like a half pipe. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. I'm turning around to this what would that be? Southeast. And heading for the next one. Hopefully the server will pick up. Alright, if you guys... Uh, I think we're going to be taking off from the same runway. So if you went further down from halfway, you would have to back taxi. And that will... Uh, Neglected one, we need some TLC. It could be it could be elevation data problems because I did Google it and nothing really came up for this airport. And when I I did uh, Kev, I did run the uh, the thing you mentioned, and I I really didn't notice any differences. No, I didn't bother installing it for this one. Somebody else is uh, flying uh, Kev's uh, signature liger livery, his Denver Broncos uh, orange and blue on the X-Cub. That's, that's why I'm in there. Uncle, let me fly it in there. Base 414 to the next one. Alright. Everybody on the ground? Yep. Well, I know some of you guys are fidgeting by uh, doing stunts. So, uh, the um, it's another waypoint heading up here. It's just another indicator just to stay with uh, the, the river. So at waypoint seven, you're going to be making a right turn, and you're going to head uh, 4.1 nautical miles at a 309 degree heading into the next airport, which will be 24 Mary Oscar. Uh, based on the wind here, you're going to be coming in on runway 07, which is uh, it looks like it's another um, asphalt runway. So when you guys are ready. That K-15 is funny. Oh, and uh, just so you guys know, there is a bridge. Can we go under it? I don't know. Can you, though? Can you? Can you not? Maybe. I'll leave that up to them. All right, guys, when you're ready, flaps, power, brakes. Let's get out of here. Um, and, uh, my mistake, I did fail to mention what the heading is for Waypoint 7. For those of you, it's a 4.1 nautical miles and a 252 degree heading. Basically, you're following the river. Let's do water skiing inverted. Yeah, water ski, water ski away, guys. I'll do that and invert it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was someone took over. <laughs> that was me. Okay. I'm flying inverted though. 
I'm going to have to apply it. Uh oh. I'm on you six. How, how's she running there, uh, Kev? Sweet, actually. I well, shouldn't have said that, probably, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Who knows? You may have just had a corrupt file, and you just have to reinstall it, and maybe that will fix it for you. It happens. Yeah. Well, I killed the uh, content file, um, so that's been rebuilt. So I should clean things up a bit. That's, I think this this definitely would have been great for the Grum and Groose, but... Uh, that plane doesn't seem very popular amongst this group. It was at oh, first yeah. when it released, Dennis. and I haven't heard anything about it. Oops. The water uh, just went green. Okay, let's go invert it again. That's like the uh, water in Boston. Just realized I'm gonna have, uh, when I when streams? I do catch up, <laughs> you're all gonna be bonanzas. So <laughs> I've uh, <laughs> I've removed all the gravel stuff. Uh, okay. All right, Kev, just for you, there's a bridge up here. I'm on it. What, just after the waypoint? Yeah, it's after, just at the waypoint 7. Uh, it's the uh, State Highway S. Oh, okay. that thing looks, that looks low. Yeah, it is. Let's try flying down. What's wrong, Let's guys? Try you can see what's going on here. I'm seeing you glitch all over the place last bit. That's why. He slews a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and break it. Oh dear lord. And perfect. <laughs> Someone fell. The bridge has some invisible points here. I made it! Uh, it's gonna work, sweet. This is probably the lowest bridge I've ever attempted. Oh. I'll tell you what, this water is really Oh nice, my god. It? Oh, this water is really nice. Yeah, it, it worked. Real tight. <laughs> okay, you let's try that again. Please, let's go. Don't want to do that again. Convert the plane and now pray. And, um, Kev, this is where I ran into elevation data problems. Right, this airport right here. You'll notice that it lakes a little bit higher. Uh, okay. and, yeah. uh, and unfortunately, the, uh, the, the pack that you mentioned didn't fix this. This is pretty much the only anomaly. I, ran, I landed on 25 by mistake. Let's down real quick. Still a smooth landing, so. How you doing, my buddy? Doing well. Up until that happened. Mm. I pulled back a stick on the stick as far as I could and um, the wind blew me over. is going about seven knots though so I could probably explain why I got blown over. Okay, I have to try some. It does not look good. Okay. Oh, the world's full of bananas. Oh god. I have a little speedier plane now. Sounded like Abe Simpson there. Oh. I'm old, so I'm the victim! Okay, I'm now doing a flyover with uh, 400 knots. How are you getting 400 knots out of that thing? Here we go. Vertical thing. Jesus. Oh. That's how, because he's in the one, two, three, nine.
try with the F-15 with these 700. Gosh. Let me switch out. I wonder how it is to land that thing. Uh, Okay, and now I've got a plane which can do 1,000 knots. The F-15 is quite uh, interesting. We need a lot of seat cushions to get enough mm -hmm. height. Because the, the approach angle is like 8 degrees. Angle of attack. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to fast. Oh. I'm just doing 600 knots now. That's nothing. You got it. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> that was just a, a streak in the sky. I was going uh, 15, 20 knots to go down the runway and I got airborne. <laughs> With a breeze. Uh -oh. I was like, wow, okay, this is, uh, where is this going? And the rest of the breeze like, crashed it. Wow. <laughs> Taking off of zero seven, yeah? Yeah, I think so. I'm just, um, I'm enjoying the sights and sounds of crash kit over here. I'm just doing 870 knots with a new fighter. You know how that goes. Well, Alex. man, we'll on, see man. you. Um, I'll be uh, coming first. Unfortunately, I'll be getting back on when you're probably going to be in bed. It will be 10 o'clock Eastern Time here in the States. Uh, oh well, I'll have a look by the time I get back. And thank you anyway, staying in place. Uh, it's been really fun so far. We've been doing well, so I'll definitely do it. We're going to do it with the A20s. All right, see you guys. See you. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you, pal. I'm going to reset my computer. I can't live with all these bonanzas. It just makes me depressed. <laughs> no problem, Kev. We'll catch you on the next one. No, I'll be back in. I'm coming back oh. in with all the gravel hardware and still. That's, uh, that's why I'm at the uh, next airport. Okay. Sorry, I should have clarified. All right, so um, taking off from here, guys. It's um, basically follow the river. There's a bend that's going to be almost a 180 degree turn which will take you into waypoint nine. Waypoint nine is just helping you stay with the river. But your next airport will be a 1.9 nautical mile from that waypoint. And it'll be a 328 degree heading. It'll basically be a right turn from that waypoint into what looks like a closed airport on Nav a little nav map, but it's Missouri Oscar 89. And you're gonna come in on runway, well, the runway is closed, <laughs> so you're going to come in on the, 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 the southeastern tip of the runway. Let's call it that. Looks like 32. I think you might be right, 32. All right, guys, when you're ready, flaps, power, brakes. I think I'm going to see somebody go really fast on the runway and let them have it. Why do I see a bunch of bonanzas? Because there's a new gravel version? Right. Well, do you have the livery that um, PHR install, uh, made? Um, I, I just have the gravel with the more R's in it. Okay, do you, so, so um, PHR, who was Dennis and his group, he made a livery for that gravel, and he also did a couple of his own mods. And it has okay. a multiplayer hub logo on the sides, and it has a guy conveniently picture underneath <laughs> your pilot sitting on a toilet and it is the greatest thing ever it was Kev's idea 
is beautiful. Where, where is that? <laughs> is that in files or? It should be under file share. Correct. Look for the one with the eight eight seven or the eight seven seven. Yeah. It's getting mostly cloudy with the live weather here. Yeah, I'm seeing dark gray. It's pretty hard to fly with you guys. Somebody's in the F-15. Yeah, somebody's in the F-15. Somebody's going really fast. That, that's me. I'm in a hero fighter. So you guys do think it's worth the 40 bucks? For the F-15? Um, it depends. No. If you're uh, tight on money, I wouldn't do it. But if you've got extra money, I mean, I, I get it. It's only going to get better. Uh, They're going to fix it. Can you fire missiles? No. Fire the missile. Can't fire anything. No, no weapons at all. I'm trying to keep up with you. All right, folks. It's pretty right hard. Right turn at um, waypoint nine. A little too fast to keep. I'm idling and I'm still way faster. Than I'm trying to find the airstrip. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, there's. Where? Wait, 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 wait. I'm stalling with 180. Gear down. If only they can. I know there's scenery packs for aircraft carriers because I, I I would think that would be really cool if uh, you can land the F-15 on the aircraft carriers. Okay, go around. I have seen there is an, uh, a raster hook on the back of the F-15. How to deploy it, I don't know. It's probably non-functioning at this time, I would imagine. I would like to get the aircraft carrier because I got the MB. I don't know which. Uh, I forgot where I saw it. I mean, I think the main multi, uh, you know, the microphone. I don't know if you guys or any of you are in it. I know I met Kev through that group. I think. I, but I'm um, now trying to land on this small runway with the Eurofighter Typhoon. Somebody posted the link to this group, and um, it was in that main Microsoft Flight Simulator group that where everybody most of the time argues whether or not this game, this is a game or a simulator. <laughs> But I remember seeing a post about the aircraft carriers in that group. Way too fast. Oh. Uh, reverse. Nah. Mm -mm. Everything okay there, Crash Kid? That was. I, I was up. not able to land with the fighter jet. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of at a at a downhill, just a tad for this little airstrip. If anyone wants to watch me, I have to just put live stream on. <laughs> I'm on with the Europe. What's really interesting about this airstrip is it looks like we're going to be taking off from the opposite direction of which we landed because the winds just shifted again. So it looks like we'll be taking off from it. looks like runway uh, runway 14, I think might be the number. When I, no, it looks like it might be 16, actually. Uh, I'm going to turn around and find out. Just reinstall the gravel and put the desktop. I'm going to do a complete oh. reinstall of the gravel hardware. Yeah. How are you liking that Typhoon crash kit? Good. <laughs> I'm watching this. Let me just try taking out the throttle. Hurts, huh? Anybody up. watching my oh, stream? Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was a quick bonanza. <laughs> It's good. 
no afterburners on that thing. guys uh let's see here everybody on the ground yep. yep so again we have another set of waypoints waypoint 10 and the waypoint 11 just basically having you follow the river and then from waypoint 11 you're going to be following a heading of 228 degrees 3.3 nautical miles from that heading it's pretty it's pretty much straight right into the airport from that heading or from that waypoint you're going to be landing at runway 22 at 9 Missouri Oscar 6. Ivy Bend is the name of the airport. They're right on the water there. So when you're ready, okay, it looks like oh, no, I did mention that we should be taking off from one way. From what it looks like, it's runway 15 or 16. Oh. That'd be the most ideal conditions because the winds did just change again. It's interesting that it's doing that. But uh, when you guys are ready, flaps, wings, not wings, power, brakes, go. It's always good to check to make sure you have your wings before you take off. I mean, I think for me, it was the wings. I have chicken wings in a cockpit with me while I'm flying. Wings are optional in this thing. I switch to be forever, like, yeah. I don't know what the fighter anymore. I'm waiting for somebody to jump into an A320. Okay, let's do that. Oh, then again, uh, then again, engine goose did leave the game, so. A320, let's use the Air Asia. Yeah. Loading up. What have I done? Here we go. Wow. I blame you, man. <laughs> All right, seven forty-seven. with an every, every All right, folks, what am I doing here? We and wait, the engines are not running. That's not good. Can we just place me in the water and come back up here. That's it. Look at that! I'm catching oh. up to an A320 in a tub. <laughs> oh, my game just crashed randomly. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, just... Developer Mine. mode doesn't really like me, so I don't really tend to use that when I'm flying. Because there's been times where I've switched aircrafts and it's caused me to crash the desktop. It it's depends. weird. <laughs> the game just closed without anything. Just closed. Yeah. I've had there that happen to me when... <laughs> Normally my game freezes and then crash, but this one just closing. Kevin cursed you is what happened. Oh, <laughs> Shanner, we won, is in a uh, Bonanza. I wonder what aircraft he's flying. Thirty-six. All right, R right turn at uh, waypoint ten, gents.
that a bridge I see? No, no, no. You got my hopes up, because I don't remember seeing one in this area. <laughs> the horizon looked like a bridge for a quick second. You're hallucinating. Got my hopes up. Yeah. Gotta stop drinking and flying. Do what I'm doing. Have a pet. Have a have a bowl of chicken wings while you're flying. Oh, I thought you were just gonna say a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I could go for some good chicken wings right now. Chili's uh, Chili does DoorDash uh, chicken wings called uh, it's just wings, and they're actually not bad. got gravel too since New Zealand or I just need the livery just the livery um, Dennis should have linked it in the uh, file share look for PHR yeah I see three of them in there yeah the, the last one right before the last the one. Season update the file name should be gravel, and then it should have like an underscore fs fs. I think that's how he worded it in the in the drive he uses. Fsmp. Yeah. And then eight seven seven or eight eight seven. Zero one zero zero one zero one zero 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 one. Top two. <laughs> Alright, where's this airstrip? Oh, it comes right out of nowhere. You guys could probably just go halfway down the runway. We got Dobbs here waiting patiently for us. So that's why I'm seeing everyone as bonanzas because they don't have delivery. That's correct. It's weird how the game does that, to be honest. Like it's, you don't need, you don't even see the people when you don't have the savage gravel installed. You would think you would just see people in normal savages, but instead you just don't see them at all. Uh, yeah, I just saw a bunch of bananas. Are you in here with us, Kev? Yeah, I'm still in here. I'm still down Okay. Here. I remember when I first did our when I first did the uh, event with you guys, it was all bonanzas for me. I didn't realize there was modded airplanes to download at that time. I think that's back when we were doing the Mexico routes. Uh, at the end of September, I think, is when we did the first one. When I, that's around the time I joined the group. 
I used to have this game installed on a regular hard drive. It took forever. To oh, load yeah. Stuff. Now, now I put it on an SSD, so it's better. Do you have an NVMe or um, a SATA? It's just a SATA. Yeah. I heard there's not much of a difference between the two on the speeds, but I'd yeah, imagine it, it makes a, quite a bit of a difference. If yep. you look at the numbers, it looks like it's huge, but in real, in the application, I don't think it's that much. This game has literally its own hard drive. Well, technically, if you want to get technically speaking, a solid state drive. It has a complete one terabyte to itself. Exactly the same. Yep. Well, yep. One terabyte SSD just for this. I, I thought about getting another one uh, just to have like a more than one terabyte but now I was like you know what it's not going to make much of a difference it's already it's already pretty fast I know Western Digital and Samsung just released new NVMEs last fall but they're probably 10% faster than what their predecessors was and I don't know if that's going to make a big difference with this game yeah, the thing is you'll only notice it when you're switching it on that's it and it's not that bad as it is are we all on the ground? Looks like it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, what did you do there? Uh, we're on 9 Mary Oscar 6. We're going to be taking off on one way 22. Coming in. So I loaded the game and I selected the delivery and it crashed. <laughs> I do find if you switch between selecting the aircraft and the livery too fast, it does like to crash. I always select the aircraft, give it five seconds, and then click on livery. That's interesting. It looks like. Yeah, I already I have the aircraft that selected. Maybe I need to select off of it and then select it again. Where's the dot .gravel file at? Is that like some dot two? That should also yep. be on the uh, file share. I know it was updated fairly recently. I'll be on the plus in that too. Uh, do a key search for monster truck. Weather's clearing up a little bit here. Still kind of gloomy here. All right, so we we have a uh, we have somebody joining in on uh, right now. You joining us at the airport? Oh, this is last updated the twenty first of January. Right. So no, so I know. I think Kev, I think Kev posted it in the uh, file share that it got updated, and then right after that is when uh, Dennis was sharing his uh, liveries, and his, his version of the uh, craft as well. Yeah, I think that's pretty much a permanent link in um, file share, so it should go to the latest version. Um, Alright, so whoever is still installing the aircraft, um, I'm going to have you meet us at the next airport. So uh, guys, once you take off here from runway 22, you're going to be taking a 1.2 degree, oops, I keep doing that, a 1.2 nautical mile um, flight to the next waypoint, waypoint 12, uh, 272 degree heading. Again, you're following the river, but you're only going to go straight from there to another 1.6 degree did it again. So sorry, guys. 1.6 nautical mile journey at an 8 degree heading right into Eagle's Landing, which is Mary Umbrella 1-1. And you're gonna gonna have to come in on runway 15. Runway 15. So when you're ready, just flaps, power, brakes, and let's get going. Um, we got a 787 parked here on grass. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Good luck getting off the ground, man. I don't think you have enough runway. I will. Okay, so so okay, let's try that. Full throttle. Isn't good enough, Brakes on. I think and by the time you even get rolling, go. you'll be at the end of the runway already. Okay, that's that thing So I, I think what I would recommend here in this situation is to continue to follow the uh, the river, and it's going to loop around again, and then you can take a, a, a landing into runway one five. Maybe I lift on. Or maybe not. Uh oh, 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 oh. I'm up. Whoa. I made it. Oh my god. I just see this huge jet just take out over the middle of the woods. Yeah, and they've tried it with collision damage on. <laughs> I was trying to get of... some pictures from it from in front, but trying to fly looking backwards over your aircraft doesn't work. I crashed into a building. It reminds me when your plane spotted at uh, Dallas, uh, Washington Dulles Airport, because there, you know, there's woods surrounding the airport, and then you just see a bunch of trees, and then you see a jumbo jet take off out of the woods. So that, that right there just reminded me of that. I think she sent a gun to Okay, now do the left turn. Oh god, that could be hard with the 787. Okay. This I gotta see. Pray. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the sun trying to come out? <laughs> Made it, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm working hardly, hardly with the rudder to get it safe. Okay, I think I see the airport. Oh. I'm directly over it right now. I just hear the rumbling of the jet engines behind me, and I'm like, am I being chased by a, a fighter jet? <laughs> and then you just see this giant wide body jet right behind you. Wait, um, the 747, is that a standard version plane, or... Where's the F-15? Right? Is that on flight sim Uh... DC Designs, what is it, a flight shop? Flight shop, something like that? Oh, you gotta go to DC Designs. Oh, design. just flight. Just flight, there you go. Okay, let's try to butterize the 747 now. Flaps down, go down. You're gonna take off from the same runway you guys landed on, just so I don't think you need me to tell you that though. I'm looking for this uh, 787 to land here and uh, it disappeared on me. Oh, it's a 747. It's a 747 now. now. You're gonna need more runway. Uh oh. Uh oh, something happened over there. Let's just pray. You need more than a prayer. I'm pretty fast. I can let you pull these spoilers. Spoilers down. 190. 180. 70. 60. He's gonna wipe me out. Let's just. Oh my Did god. F 15 yeah. just come out. I'm dead. And uh, now 21st, I think it is my yeah, Up, see ya gaming. I did Bye. it. I stopped. Before the trees. Your engines were dragging on the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Made it before the trees. That's yeah, great. Let's reverse out of here. Pick up an X tip. Well, the reverse thrusters, I don't know if that would work in real life there. You're on a hill. 
Everybody on the ground here, or are we still expecting more people to land? Because I see a lot of nameplates I'll out just there. Just reversing at it. Looks like our crew is there. A lot of people flying around in this area. Interesting. I think the 747 is flying it's nearly as big as the whole field. Alright guys, so, to, uh, uh, get out of one of the most beautiful places in the country. Yeah, it's a pretty great place so far. Um, so guys, getting out of here, you're gonna take off on runway... I think it's 20... no. Yeah, we're, we're taking off on runway 15. And you're gonna be taking a, um... I'm so dyslexic. <laughs> You're going to be taking a right turn, and you're going to be following a heading of uh, 284 degrees for 11.2 nautical miles. Hey, I got it right that time. You're just going to hop back on to uh, the river that leads into the Truman Reservoir. It's going to lead into a couple of waypoints, uh, first being waypoint 13. It's just directing you to keep following the Osage River. And then you're going to get into uh, Warsaw, Missouri. And then it's going to bring you into the the Truman Reservoir, and then from the Truman Reservoir, which is waypoint 14, you're going to follow that for 8.3 nautical miles at a 23-degree uh, heading into Warsaw Municipal Airport, which is Kilo Romeo Alpha Whiskey. And from there, it looks like it's going to be a crosswind, crosswind landing. I hate hearing my own voice. Yeah, it's actually more of I think landing on one way one eight would probably be the best idea on this one. By the way, can you guys hear my engine sounds of the seven four seven? Yeah, I can. Okay, then let's where'd just you go? Pull up the oh, you're He's right all there. All the way back. Yeah. All right, when you guys are ready, flaps. Um, FK Gaming, make sure your spoilers are put away and make sure they're armed. Uh, power wings. Make sure you have wings, brakes, and let's go. So, which one is better, Crash, the 15 or the Eurofighter? And we have a loop. Uh, that's that's not the good enough. That's a stall. Mountain. Oof. Uh, crash kid. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> which fighter jet is better? The Euro fighters have the price, so right there. Yeah, I saw that. But the thing is, is if you're flying one of those, people in the game can't see that you're flying one unless they have that. Right? That is that is correct. We gotta fix that. The seal banana. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I see a seven forty-seven water skiing. <laughs> I have to let go. That's not something you see every day in this group. I know half this half this group avoids jetliners like they're the plague. I like the fly by wire A220 is amazing. Yeah, I think it's pretty great. I need to update it because I think it got updated again if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm working with the rubber. I'm thinking with that F-15 though, if I do download it, I think if it goes really fast, I bet you an overseas uh, group flight could happen in about three hours. If it breaks the sound barrier. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, I'm See how far you can fly it around the world before it runs out of gas. Yeah, fly from basically New York JFK in the London Heathrow, I think that could be a uh, possibility. Oh no, no wing is in the water. And there's no I'm looking for bridge lines on the face here. That's a lot. Let's come back here and do the same with this place. There are these pontoons and houseboats. That might take a day or two. Yeah, it would be worth it, didn't it? I'm back in the air with that. I'm behind you. Oh my god, the 747 I see is... Uh, it seems like you're struggling to stay airborne here. Yeah. <laughs> um, Imagine living in a house boat on this river and you see just this huge swarm of planes coming by and the 747 just comes out of nowhere. Oh, we 
and pat down, down the rainy water. <laughs> just and now we're gliding over the yeah, water. <laughs> landing gear, landing gear, landing gear. Can you see that line in the um in the water by chance, flying over the river? Yeah. I wonder if that's supposed to be a bridge, and it just didn't get a uh, put into the game. I'd imagine there's more bridges coming up with Warsaw coming around the corner here. How did we part Missouri and end up in Warsaw? Warsaw, Missouri. Could have teleported, you never know. Yeah. That's the, uh, the story of that one uh, airliner that took off, like 1973 or whatever it was, and it landed in South America somewhere 30 some years later. It's like, a, I don't know if you ever watched the TV show when it was on Lost. Reminds me of that. That's how it looks cool. I need some for seven to play. Oops, that can sleep. Oh, your wing hit the water. You hit the water and you bounced off of it from what I saw. Okay, for me, I did not touch the water. I got my gear down. Can the gravel really take off that quick? Yeah. In real life? Wow. This is such a light aircraft. And with this modded engine here. It's got a Mustang V6. But I wonder if the extra if the extra weight of the tires makes a difference. <coughs> uh, the weight and the size. I'm gliding along here with 160 knots and 7 percent. You have both engines? You have all four engines going there? Yeah. That's the one aircraft I cannot master. I somehow always fall out of the sky with it. it may have been mm -hmm. an issue with it when I last tried to fly it. I don't know. I had times where... Um, the, the throttles would stop responding and I was like, alright, what am I going to do? I had that problem when the sink first came out. So yeah. I just, but I just remember one time I was 30,000 feet up in the air and the throttle stopped responding so I turned off the engine and just glided right into an airport and it was fun. <laughs> now it's pretty hard to hold the plane at this low speed. You always have to correct the now is it like is it constantly going off in there by like is it it's probably like pull up pull up stall stall no i'm not uh, screwing pull up because i got my gear down and my flaps are full it's telling you the damn terrain underneath terrain 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 okay i put my gear up now landing gear landing gear <laughs> overspeed Overspeed. Overspeed. Nah, I'm not overspeed. <laughs> 130 knots. Oh god. I'm what waypoint are you guys at? We're approaching waypoint 13. Okay, I'm um, just. Alright, we're going. We're going. That looks pretty cool with this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 just look for the 737. <laughs> You're at Warsaw. Got to find a livery pack for tomorrow's flight for the TBMs. 
So I'm definitely not installing a mega pack. I'm not oh, trying it's that. It's pretty hard to hold these seven first down here. Oh, there's a horrible thing to have. Oh no, what oh I, no. What I could do is zip up my TBM and thirty folder with all my rivers in it and just put it in the grip. I remember I did mm -hmm. share a livery group one time, but um, Scanbush told me that there was issues with it or something like that. Yeah, well, none of them are, um, they're all freeware, so I should just be able to zip the whole lot up. At least I'd better have this one. I haven't flown that aircraft since I actually last flew a route with them where you were flying around in, uh, I think, Nepal at the time. I'm wondering, I can hold the 747 at the same speed as the guns I was doing now with this <laughs> You should see was, if you uh, can come out on autopilot. I was behind you for a minute. I'm trying to sit on you. I'm trying to catch up to you. Um, Alright uh, folks, we got a couple bridges coming up. Are you ready? I want to see if um, FK can get under the bridge with his 747. <laughs> you should. I don't think there's. I, I think the pillars keeping the bridge up might be too wide. Uh, it might be too narrow for him. But never say never. Yeah, that's the best scheme, man. Wow, his plane is almost as wide as the river now. <laughs> Uh, just give it a few more, man. If not, uh, switch servers and switch back. You, um, I don't know if you know how to do that. Wait, that's a bridge? Oh, no. Not really. I mean, <laughs> I, I know to switch servers. Just go out to the okay, main I'll try menu. To. And load no, you, watch, you don't have to go out to the main menu. You just hit the pause button, and it should be in the right-hand corner. <laughs> okay, okay you're fine. I'm flying right... I'm going, like, super fast under this bridge, and I made it. I made it with the yeah. I yeah, call that it's not really yeah, up to you guys if you want to go out to the waypoint, because it's just going to bring you out into the Harry S. Truman Reservoir. Or you can keep following this river, and it's going to bring you to the same place. It's just where this is Warsaw. I, it's I, I believe this is where Harry S. Truman is from, if I'm not mistaken. This bridge is really low, and uh, yep, mission abort right there. Should have a dam coming up over here. If you follow the river. Yep, I see it. And hold it. Media with the wall. Alright, so you guys are closing in on 14. We're past 14. Well, so to speak. So once you get to 14, you're going to be taking a right and following a 23-degree uh, heading into the airport. From here, it's probably about six nautical miles. Oh, no, no. Please. We are. Oh, no. But from the waypoint, it's 8.3 nautical miles. Okay, I'll get her up. Oh, it's weird. I saw you guys earlier, but then I changed my flight model and my livery, and now I don't see you. <laughs> Make sure you good. Yeah, you guys can go straight into this airport, which is nice from where we are. Straight on 36. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing right there. The wind direction changed again. I'm showing the tail wind going into 36, but now you know what? I did miss it. It switched back again. Okay. Yeah, it's a couple of knots from the west. Uh, I'm yeah, ten knots to the uh, yeah to the west. So one eight is going to probably be the best one to land on. All right. I mean, I, but, but this plane, I don't know. Right down. Let's the right way. I see the airport, and of course it has a beacon too. This was my destination airport, but Kev added a couple of, uh, added another few airports. Wait, is that the airport you left? Okay. 
That's a good chance to land the center seven there. That's what I say, you should have plenty of runway. It's 3,000 feet. Coming in quite should be easy, though. I think there's even a taxiway. I'll go around. I'll go around. I'll try to get rid of it. That's weird. I'm even looking at the world map. I don't see those in the world map. Yeah, like I said, you're just going to have to be patient, man. We'll eventually show up. It's just like, I think this game's having some server glitches today because when I first started playing, I was having non stop crashes to desktop. I rebooted my computer, and that's where everything, knock on wood, seems to have been fixed. Yeah, I reinstalled all of the gravel, all of the carbon deliveries. And the gravel and the carbon planes. Oh, we all disappeared. It's working. Yeah, I see the AI traffic, but I don't see you guys. All right, which server are you in, man? You should be US East. Yep, that's the one I'm on. All right, so we should be appearing soon. And we're landing at. Let's uh, try to get the uh, details here in a sec. I just gotta land myself here and then I'll give you the airport code. I'll do a little turn around. It could probably go down here. Romeo, Alpha, Whiskey. Okay. Slaps full gear down. Seems like a, uh, a WWE event that we're at right now, K Raw. Okay, prepare <laughs> the runway for 747 there. I'm gonna switch to a uh, different weather here. Just have a little bit nicer weather for the remainder of the flight. Clear the runway. Oh, uh, there you go. I'm off to the left, but something tells me I'm not far enough to the left. To the left, to the left. Coming in now. In my head. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Okay. Hold on, you break. Your passengers are probably a bit worried right now. And everything is fine. A bunch of the one aircraft that stayed on the runway and just got crushed. Quick turn around. Let's back back to it's funny how there's no, uh, it looks like there's a helipad out there to the right, too. Maybe. It's probably a skydiving airport. Uh, Alright, gents, so next, um, next thing is going to be a waypoint. It looks like it's an area to land again, so it's probably going to be a touch and go if um, it's optional for landing. Uh, waypoint number 15 which will be 13.2 nautical miles to the southwest at a 244 degree heading. Right, so when you guys are ready, flaps. Okay, wait a second, I have to turn around. <laughs> okay, we're not ready. We're not ready. Yes, we catch up. <laughs> I was about to say, he has a 747, he can catch up. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at Dennis, he just goes and takes off. So he's like, see ya. Uh, so yeah, uh, flaps, power, brakes, let them have it, guys. Okay, quick turn around. 
We're just gonna see a full throttle 747 just blast right by us. <laughs> God, that is so funny, that livery on this plane. Go. You know, I really and do like that. Uh, throttle and let go. Did you uh, did you make sure you did the, the spoilers still? Arm the spoilers. Spoilers are. Seats seats and tray tables are in their upright and locked positions. If you guys follow the, the Truman Reservoir again, there is another bridge for M07. I don't know if you guys have a little map map pulled up. I'm there's going the past the Harry, pool pool. There's the Harry S. Truman State Park, and then to the immediately to the south and east, uh, excuse me, southwest of that, there could be a bridge. If you want to follow the river into uh, the waypoint. See where he is. Yep, here he comes. Yeah, you forgot to retract your landing gear there, buddy. Uh, I let it out because of the landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. <laughs> okay, now I see some people on my world map after I lost my little screen or something like that. Usually that's what it takes to get it to works again, but I'm glad you got it to work. I don't know what's going on in this game, because there's been... It seems like there's been server problems. I mean, I'll, I bet you the majority of the team's working from home, so the you know, one step at a time here. I can't believe this plane is powered by a Mustang engine. Hasn't broken yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the amazing thing. I see a bridge. Yep, MO7. Oh, you must have taken a shortcut. Yeah, I'm sure oh, I'm oh no. Sure. I lost control. I bet you there's some bears in here. It's going to be the carcass for 747. Oh, the way that one's shimmering under the bridge, you know you're going to die. Well, you let us know how it goes, Ted. Okay. I think the plan is cleaning lemming with me. <laughs> bridge in sight, and now we got to see if... Um, oh, I'm going to lie, it's a straight ender. Where is the bridge? Kevin, okay, you weren't supposed to tell us. Sorry. <laughs> and I've turned the right to get back on the roof. Well, that is a beautiful bridge. Yeah, we'll have to do my Prince Edward Island one sometime, because that's obviously the Confederation Bridge is there. What's the elevation on this is damn good, actually. There's only a few little glitches here and there. You got, you got a boathouse that's a plane now? <laughs> you, uh, somebody posted it. I don't know if it was in this Discord, but it was maybe been in another Discord. Apparently some dude in Michigan has a fuselage of a plane for sale that he was trying to convert into a... Uh, nice one, Tim. I think he was trying to convert it into a, um, an RV. And he just he needs money, so he's trying to get rid of it. 
He's like, no, seriously, I'm trying to sell this because everybody who is requiring me, like, this must be a joke. That's the hard one. I forgot to remind you folks about fuel. Fuel? I don't need fuel. I was about to say, you're, uh, you're prepared for a long haul journey. You could probably make it to Japan from where you are, where we are right now. Like we have fuel. Or at least Hawaii. I've, uh, I've been on the trip for seven times. I think the longest I've done is from Denver to, to Honolulu, and we did that on a, um, a 767, and that was a long flight. Uh oh, what is happening? I'm not doing anything. Uh oh. Longest I've flown is Bangkok to Rome. It was like 11 hours. Oh, oh look at it. They have a non-stop flight from uh, Boston to Tokyo, and I wonder how long that takes. Another, another long flight is Honolulu to Boston. That's like 10 hours. I'd imagine the Tokyo flight is probably 13 to 14 hours, because they're, what they're doing is they're going over the North Pole. It'll be interesting how that works. Yeah, it just stream. depends on the jet stream, too. They're using a 787 Dreamliner for that flight. Yeah, it's tailwind or headwind. 14 hours for an area that would be... It was nice because I was in first class, so it made the time go by pretty quick. I could not imagine flying economy in a long-haul flight. I think I would try to save up for a first class seat. I'm, I'm lucky because I got a relative. Oh, there's a break. Come to think of it, I have a relative that works for United, but they don't have, I don't think they have any jumbo jets in their lineup anymore. It's all. Okay, I want yeah. to try to land on this bridge with a 747. Could that work? United's got big, big jets. Yeah. yeah. My parents went to um, Europe last year and they flew back from London on the Airbus A380. And they thought it was crazy. But I think United has a fleet of the 787s. Yeah, because I know a lot of them don't use the 747 anymore. Yeah, no, they're, they're retired in the US. There's a bridge, and I'll try to land. I don't think even any American carrier carriers use the A380. I think that's another one that's making its way out, even though it's a newer aircraft. Right. Oh no. Land on it. There's a bridge coming up, Fox. Does that count as a landing on the bridge? Oh boy. Ouch. Uh, down in front with that 747, buddy. <laughs> How are you guys water skiing this plane on the water? Yeah, magic go slow. Oh, you gotta go slow. Okay. Like, uh, like 50 knots or less. Yeah, 50, 60 knots. Flaps one. And just kiss it. Where's the this plane can do that in real life? Yeah, it can do it once. Once. <laughs> uh, it, it can probably water ski in real life. I mean, I've seen, uh, what is his name? Tanner, Tranner, or whatever the dude on YouTube is. Trent, Trent Thomas. He's a lot. Trent, there you go. It's a big open field over here. Land that 747 over here. I can't guarantee you'll be able to take off, but. It looks like uh, Clinton what Memorial Day cross, 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 cross wind landing. Maybe not. 
depending on which runway you guys come in on. on it. So it looks like a cross, it looks like it's a crosswind for both. So you could probably just fly straight in on. Uh, I'm going to do runway 36, but there's also runway 04. Six and 04? Yeah, there's two runways. This one looks like it might be an airbase because it's just the way the runway layout is. I don't know if you can see it from... Is that your runway right in front of us? Yep, I think that's the best runway for you, Crash Kid. It's a longer runway yeah, than... Is. So there's the runway straight ahead, and then there's runway 04, which is to the left. I'm on a five mile long final. <laughs> and my connection died. I lost my phone unplugged from my computer. <laughs> wow. Now I can't so see any one of you. Can you see me? No, no, unfortunately, you disappeared. Well, now I should be back. Which runway do I want? Hmm, got options here. Oh. Hold it. If you want, you can stay up in the air and watch for that <laughs> I think I'm going to do 0 4 into uh, KGLY. <laughs> this one has a taxiway. Oh, hello, cat. <laughs> there's something. There's something about this runway that's interesting. I'm wondering if it's like a test site because of the way the runway layout is. Something memorial. Let's do uh, touch and go with the seven for seven. But yeah, Clinton Memorial. Kilo. K O B. Cookie. Definitely cookie. You sound like you're saying cuddly. You look Ross Winter. Cookies. What a great land. Or maybe not. Oh. Never mind. Heavy crosswind. Oh god. Yeah, I think 04 is the better runway to land on. But uh yeah, you looks like you nailed it. You had plenty of runway to land on. Oh, I'm back up in the air. Did you forget that? Did you forget to deploy the spoilers? Nah, I got two heavy side winds. I <laughs> flipped over nearly. That's that's a big crosswind that's going on that runway too for. Uh, the one you tried. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, live weather. Yeah, well, I had it on. Well, now I have it on clear okay, skies. Pray. Get about I'll five just knots. pray. Go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get a lot of cold. Oh, 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 oh. I hear a jet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scrape Gonzo off the runway. Yeah. I think key mm -hmm. thing for you is um, you're coming in too fast. And you're forcing you're the good. plane down on the runway. Okay, and I want to try good landing. I'm pretty good. Mm -hmm. mm. Find yourself Let's hover in airport. <laughs> I was about to say, we're not that far from, I think the nearest international, well, the nearest airport that's got passengers is probably Springfield. Springfield and Branson, which I think are to the south of here. And then obviously to the west is Kansas City. So we got one more guy coming in and then uh, we'll get going and then... Uh, Let me land my second question. We'll be getting the. We'll be taking off from runway 14 in 
going into our final rest, uh, final restaurant, <laughs> final airport mm-hmm. of the day. Mm-hmm. You're down. Zero four. Left turn. Out. Zero four. My mistake. So zero, zero four. Right left turn out. And uh, it's an eight point six nautical mile journey at a two hundred ninety one degree heading. And we'll be landing at our final airport, which is zero zero Mary Oscar zero Ferris Ranch. That the best runway I think would be to land on if uh, if you're using live weather. I think the rent is the wind still going to the um, to the east. Sixteen would be the best. And I'm yeah, I think sixteen. Well. I concur. Yeah. All right. I did it. Are you guys are ready. Well. Yep. Flaps, power, brakes. Let's go. He said, "Let's go." Okay. Full throttle, seven point seven. Trying to find out where you are. That's a. It's weird how the runway layout is here. You got one little small runway, and then you got a long one that's not parallel to the other runway, but like kind of off on its own. Definitely large enough to accommodate that 747. I barely made it up. Should I try to land on the highway? Maybe. I I see a bridge out there. If you guys want to entertain it. I want to try and land on the run on the highway here. One hundred. Okay. Forty. Forty. Twenty. Oh, over so speed. A little, a little bit over out of the way, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. I'll get it over. Well, it's over on the it's over on the Truman Reservoir. Oh, okay. Mo thirteen, Mo fifty two. We got one guy that's headed towards it. I see you now. What would these people think when the 747 comes in this? Okay. I would be terrified. Some of these people yeah. have probably never seen a 747. <laughs> well, I imagine Clinton has probably seen a thing or two about him. Oh no, my plane is going to the building. Right. It's the most complex thing in my life there, isn't it? And I well, hit it's... a building. Complex are we talking about now? It's a Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> Anybody want to go shopping? Not the really part, of course. They look really impressive. Let me see. Yeah, it look, looks like there's some photogrammetry here because we got this um, track and field over here as well. Yeah, and also a big mixture of different types of buildings. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, I thought you were trying to sing that song. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. There's a billion. Oh, no. That sounded like that New Kids on a Block song. Yeah. And I can not to die again. Yay. I mean, oh, no. Oh, we had uh, somebody uh, crash the, the 747 again. Nope, I'm still on. Yeah. So let's do a uh, virtual tour. Looks just full of the road, huh? Virtual right here. It's weird how right. we went from right following here. a river to following a road now. No, there's no decent boats on the rivers. Oh well, we got somebody who, um, you know, creates mods, adds scenery to places. Yeah, that's gonna happen. If we let any water. I'm trying to figure out where this airstrip is. Where do 
I think I found it. Cool. Where is the airfield? Oh, that's that ditty little field, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be fun to watch. Is this is the fish. airfield. You're coming it's in so fast. Okay, go around. It's a field. I'm just going to go on uh, the runway straight in. I'll do quick go around. That is impossible. This will be a great finale for this trip. Seeing a 747 land at a small airstrip. Perfect. Might want to start That's two nothing. fields over. Will. Okay, tell me when you're ready to watch the landing. <laughs> Looks like a golf course with all these holes in the ground. Yes, I'm going on those now. It's like, like a landmine mark resort. Go down. Oh boy. Prepared to cut. Okay. Now fall when the brakes down and pray. I go get down. <laughs> Never mind, going around. I'm sure that was too low and too slow for a go around. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm still up in the air. Or kind of. <laughs> I just see a 747 just going right through the bushes there, and it's, it's like a, it's like a, a shark in the water. You just see the tail in the trees. Okay, let me try that again real quick. Okay, I'll just um, teleport around to get this quicker. Perfect. That should be fine. Oh no, never mind. That's not. Fine. Ooh. There we go, log the flight. This time, hopefully, I'm getting the plane down. Hi. Gear us down. Plane is pretty slow. Stable. Water action. Okay. We've got this one. Never gonna stop in time, though. Hold the brakes. There we go. Look at that. Oh. 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 No, never mind. That was pretty close. Did better than uh, the first time. Did better than <laughs> I would. I'd probably, I'd probably crash somewhere. Am I able to get out of here again? Myself? Alright guys, it was a great flight. Oh, uh... Yeah, thanks guys. Tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Sam. It's a real challenge. Thank you very much indeed, mate. See ya. Yeah, what the? See you guys later. See ya. What did my plane do? Is that an F-15 I just bought?